So in terms of the potential side effects of, uh, of surgery, one of the reasons for the adoption of the minimally invasive uh, surgery is that we can better protect the quality of life issues that men are always afraid of uh, undergoing the surgery. And the main thing is leaking urine uh, and having to wear pads or, or catheters. Um, where as this is traditionally uh, the open surgery regarded as in good hands of 10 to 15 percent incidence. With robotic surgery, that is uh, significantly reduced depending on the skill levels of the surgeon, of course, but uh, in most high volume centers, that incidence is below 2 to 3 percent. The other problem that's uh, been always worried about is erectile dysfunction. And we see because of the precision of the uh, uh, robotic surgery that, and once again, it depends on the uh, skill level of the person doing it, but in experienced hands, uh, the figures around the world today are preservation of erectile function in uh, up to 85 to 90 percent of patients, provided your function is good before the surgery. So if you're struggling before the operation, it might get better afterwards, but in good hands, it should be preserved. Also depending, of course, on the aggressiveness of the cancer and how advanced the cancer is. Uh, we wouldn't, for example, do a nerve sparing procedure in a locally advanced cancer, uh, where our primary goal then would be to remove all the cancer and to give back the function afterwards. Uh, the other advantages, as we mentioned earlier, are the quicker recovery, uh, but, uh, the, uh, and also the, uh, the cure rates for the surgery, the feeling, and the, the statistics around the world show that with the precision and the better vision that we have, and because there's no bleeding with the surgery, that we can better uh, maintain negative surgical margins around the cancer. Uh, which you can't always see as, as well with the traditional open surgery because there's, there's obviously more bleeding and, and uh, the vision is not.